basically I'm going to be treating this like an unfiltered, unedited kind of talk between me and with you guys as the fans. Um, no, there haven't been videos for a few days. <clears throat> and I have a reason for that. Whether it be a good reason, I don't know. That's completely up to you guys. But a lot of stuff in my life and the status of where I am has changed. So, I figured I would take time out of my day to actually talk with you guys and let you guys know what has been going on. And... How I am. Uh, I know a lot of you actually care how I am, so I'm going to do my best to describe the way that I'm feeling and where I'm going as of in the future. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen it on my Instagram, I don't blame you. I don't post on my Instagram a lot. And, you know, not a lot of people have the time to go on different, like, social medias. And I know I just have a purely YouTube audience, so that's okay. If you guys don't already know, um, about three to four weeks ago, uh, I had lost my mom to a violent crime that still kind of replays in my head and kind of makes me depressed sometimes, of course, because I just lost my mom. I'm planning to get a tattoo with her ashes in it, um, whether that's possible. I know it is, but I'm trying to find someone who knows how to do it and won't stain my skin uh, with, like, get it infected or whatever. But three to four weeks ago, about a month ago, my mom was, she was murdered by a person that she thought she knew. Um, and she was then found in a landfill, or in a lake. I don't really know, because I'd rather not know all the details of it, but now that he's in incarceration, I can actually talk about it. But yes, they have caught the guy. He's in jail. I'm not going to say any names, just so I don't impede with the case that's going on right now. I didn't make a video before. Because if you guys don't know what happens in homicide cases, you're not allowed to post about it. You're not allowed to talk about it until the case is figured out all the way. But um, she was a victim to, you would think, gun violence, considering everyone wants to talk about gun safety and all this other stuff. But no, she was killed with a knife, something that cannot be regulated and something that has always been around. But... I'm not trying to say, oh, we should ban knives, we should do all this dumb shit just because I lost somebody. No. What I'm saying is, shit like this happens, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you try to prevent it. And yes, she could have had a concealed carry, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, if you really trust the person, if you at least thought you could trust the person, would you really even think to even have it? And my expression to all of you is that shit happens in the world that we cannot control and that yes you are allowed to be sad about it yes you are allowed to be broken about it but you cannot let that convince you into anger into doing things that you know you should not do or rioting or doing all this other other dumb shit yes i'm upset i really am i might not seem like it now because i've waited a couple weeks to even try to make this video but yes i am upset I will never see my mom again. I will never talk to her again, even though our last conversation was, let's try to meet up. Let's <clears throat> try to talk with each other because the last time that we talked with each other, we actually made up. I haven't had the best, you know, haven't had the best relationship with my mom and I was just starting to get that back. And yes, I am upset that I can never see her again or try to fix our relationship or that she will never get to see her grandkids. Yes, it upsets me. Especially since she was one of my biggest fans of my music. It hurts. Especially after Ryan, especially after my best friend, one of my best friends dying. Especially after Juice died. Yes, this upsets me. But I do my best to carry on and be who I am 
<clears throat> and continue to be here for you guys that I find solace in where I am. But no, I am not okay, but who would be my physician? But I'm not going to let that stop me from living life. Because I know my mom deep down would want me to carry on. I know that she loved me. And I know that wherever she is, she's looking down on me. Proud of me. And I loved her very much. We actually got these to commemorate, you know, who she was. If you look right here, that's my mom and me. And then my mom and my sister. She was always full of life. And yes, she was always in my life. But, you know, whenever you have a divorced parent, you know that they can't be around 24-7. Or if your parent just is a great person and you love them, but they just can't be a parent. That's, you know, my situation. But she did the best that she could. And I'll always love her for that. She could have, you know, taken us away from my dad and all this other shit. She didn't. She was caring. She would send money when we needed it. She would always talk to us. Always be happy to talk with us. And she was a very, very, very loving lady. Free will. Uh, creative. I guess I got some of that from her. She used to write poems and everything like that too. Now, now that I've talked about that, I just want to talk about the album. Um, right now, uh, the studio has been closed. So, lately I've been sitting in my house kind of losing my mind over trying to write songs, but I want to get them recorded. I have about three albums worth of content that I have already and I want to be able to put out in the world. Um, and I really want to finish this Tio Rejects album. And just for one, one time I get to accomplish completing an album. I don't care if it's my last. I just want this to be done. I cannot give you a good time. I really don't know. I'm hoping August I can get it done, but with the studio closing and me and Gavin always being busy, I can't guarantee anything. So that's also been a kind of a gun to my head as well, because I want to express myself in the studio with the songs that I've written. And yes, I know I could do what I was doing before, but that's moving backwards and I don't want to move backwards. I don't want to, although all love to you, Nick. I appreciate what you did for me. It's nothing to do with that. It's just I'd want my songs, my music, my personality to be presented in a way where it's professional. I want to be in a studio. I want to call it my home. I want to express myself the best way that I can. I don't care if anyone listens to it. I don't care if, you know, if I don't get famous from it. I could give a shit less. I just want this to be done and that way the people who want to hear it can. And um, the world's just going crazy, <laughs> ain't it? But we all live in it. We all have hope. We all have love. So just remember to keep that in you. Just carry on being you. And remember, compassion is free. Love is free as long as you are able to show it to somebody. If they don't show it back, then it's fine, carry on. But remember, you can always have that. It costs nothing. Thank you guys so much for listening. I figured I'd update you guys on the situation. And remember, it doesn't matter what relationship you have to your mom, as long as it's somewhat decent, please call her and tell her that you love her. Because Life can change so, so drastically. I hope you guys have a good day. I will be out.